Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 MLW Draft. Please welcome your commissioner, Kyle Schultz. Yes. <laughs> You're still a bomb, Joe. Speed gate, speed gate, I demand justice! Hello everybody and welcome to the 2021 MLW Draft, the second draft that we've ever had. We are just moments away from eight new prospects making their way into this league and their wiffle ball dreams being made. Now we saw just how impactful this draft was last year, and we expect nothing less in 2021 with how much talent we are seeing on the board right now. Wildcats are and terrible. And as many of you guys know, we didn't have a winter league this year, so uh, managers from all MLW teams will be selecting from participants of our previous wiffle ball tournaments, high school athletes, college athletes, really anyone. So it's the most diverse group of players to choose from that we've ever had. And without further ado, Drew Davis and the Coastal Cobras, you guys are on the clock. The first selection in the MLW draft, the Costa Cobras will be selecting Brendan Baranowski, the Red Baron, pitcher, West Michigan Wiffle Ballers. Brendan Baranowski is a phenomenal selection for the Coastal Cobras at the top of this draft. This guy has been lights out on the mound at the past two Wiffle in the Mitten tournaments, featuring risers, sliders, drops, and he's really a scary hitter at the plate as well. In 2019 especially, Baranowski carved through several MLW lineups on his way to a tournament title, so expect him to step in right away with the Cobras and get a lot of time on the mound to accompany Drew Davis. Many of the MLW guys believe this kid is the most complete wiffle ball player in the draft and is someone that can truly help the Cobras get to that next level and get back to the World Series. Hey, what up, Baron? What's up, Drew? Hey, I just want to let you know that you've officially been drafted to the Coastal Cobras. How you feel, bud? I'm really excited. Hell really yeah, man. To get going with the Cobras. We're going to come back this year. It's, it's going to be legend. Wait for it. Dairy. <laughs> with the second overall pick in the 2021 MLW draft, the Midwest Mallards are proud to select Caden Irwin, utility player from Sylvania, Ohio. Folks, although this pick is a little bit of a wild card for Quack Attack Nation, I absolutely love this pick for them. Caden Irwin has never been to an MLW tournament, but has extensive fast pitch wiffle ball experience playing in various leagues across the Midwest and on the big stage in national tournaments. He's another do-it-all kind of guy. He's very athletic. He's got a consistent arsenal on the mound, so expect him to see some innings in year one with the Mallards. And although it may take him some time to adjust to the new style of play of MLW, I really think Tommy Coughlin did a great job with his prospect search I think he may have just found himself a gem. What's going on, Cade? What's up, Tommy? Nothing much, man, nothing much. Hope you're doing well. But um, I know we've been talking the last few weeks, and I just wanted to let you know that it's official. I took you at number two, so congratulations. You're officially a Midwest Mallard. Let's go. I'm ready to get, get to work. I hope you're excited. I think you are officially the first player ever to be drafted outside of the state of Michigan, so that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, man, I'm happy to have you. I hope you're looking forward to this season, and uh, we'll be talking soon. Heck yeah, let's do it. With the third pick in the 2021 MLW Draft, the Eastern Eagles select Dallas Allen, pitcher, All-American Vibes. Eagles fans, this kid is a very dedicated whiffler and a very talented one at that. He's been to all three of MLW's Michigan regional tournaments dating back to 2018. And he's improved his game every single year. He was the ace of last year's championship squad in the 13 to 15 age division. So Daniel and the Eagles, I really believe they picked him up at the right time. This kid is very screwball, riser centric on the mound. So I think that's a great complimentary style to Daniel's style on the mound. He's still pretty young, but give this guy some time, and I think he could work himself into being an all-star potential player in MLW. Hello? Hey, is this Dallas? This is. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. I uh, just wanted to let you know that with the third pick, the Eastern Eagles selected you. Congratulations. Thanks, man. That's always been a dream of mine. <laughs> With the fourth pick in the 2021 MLW Draft, the downtown Dimex have selected Michael Shima, an outfielder from the Livonia City Wiffle Ball Team. 
Here's what you need to know about my guy Shima. He's consistent, he fits the D-back culture, and he's already familiar with all the guys. He's a switch hitting contact hitter. And while this pick may not be the craziest in the draft, I really feel like it can be an underrated one. He played with Norp and Nick Saylor at the 2020 Winter League. Uh, the D-backs are obviously in win-now mode, so it's unclear just how much playing time Shima will see this year, but this guy definitely improves the D-backs depth. Jim, hey. Shima, what's going on, man? What you doing right now? How you doing? Uh, just hitting general. Awesome. Hey, I was just calling you because I wanted to congratulate you on officially being drafted by the downtown Diamondbacks this year. No! Yes, sir. Ryan. Yes, sir. No, Let's no. Go. We're looking forward to having you on the field this year, man. I'll give you more details to come. Congratulations, that's going to be a fun year. Yes! Alright guys, we're going to take a quick break in the action to give word to our official sponsor, Voot Grips. Yes, as Kyle mentioned, Voot Grips has been the official backer sponsor of MLW for the past two seasons, and with over 10 years of baseball experience, and a lot of wiffle ball experience as well, I can honestly say this is the best backup I've ever used. It will not let you down in the rain, in cold conditions, and there's nothing else like it on the market. So if you want to try it for yourself, please head over to VookGrips.com. That is V-U-K-G-R-I-P-Z.com and link in the description below. And Tom, tell them about the socks. Oh yes. How can I forget? We also have a MLW and Voot Grip sock collaboration that dropped last year. A lot of you fans already got them, but if you don't have a pair yet, make sure to pick yourself up one. They're going to be restocked soon. And anything on VootGrips.com, if you use the code MLW, you'll get yourself 10% off each order. So once again, thank you Voot Grips. With the fifth pick in the 2021 MLW Draft, the Eastern Eagles select Blade Walker, outfielder, All-American vibes. Not only does this kid have an electric name, but an electric arm as well. Blade Walker played on the same team as the Eagles' previous draft pick, Dallas Allen, at the Wiffle in the Mitten tournament, and he served as the number two pitcher for that squad where he closed out some big games. Daniel Schultz tells us that he loves the chemistry that he has with Dallas, so watch out for this duo of rookies coming to the league with the Eagles. Huh? Hey, man, is this Blade Walker? Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that with the fifth overall pick, the Eastern Eagles selected you, so we're happy to have you on the team. Wow, thanks, man. It's, it's a pleasure. I mean, it's really nice to know that, and uh, I just want to thank you. For the sixth pick in the 2021 MLW Draft, the Pacific Predators select Rudy Ramirez, outfielder from Wayne State University. Rudy Ramirez, everyone. This kid was one of the best baseball players in the state of Michigan coming out of high school in his class. and now plays baseball for Wayne State University in the outfield. He brings a great bat to the squad and some more flair to the Preds who already excel in that department. So I really think this could be a perfect match. However, I will say, we've seen in the past elite baseball prospects not pan out in this league. So we'll see just how well the swing and overall game translates to this different setting for him. And also, huge shout out to Aiden Szymanski, the winner of the 2021 MLW Bracket Challenge. Not only do we have a bunch of Instagram challenges coming out this summer, we are also now on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MLWWiffleBall, where we will be playing games, reacting to videos, or just talking to chat. So make sure you check it out. With the seventh overall pick in the 2021 MLW Draft, the Western Wildcats select Jackson Pearson, pitcher, God Squad. Well, I'll tell you what, the Wildcats were very happy to see Jackson still on the board at number seven, as we've had our eyes on this kid ever since the 2019 Regional Tournament in Michigan. He always seems to come up clutch with home runs at our tournaments, and he always serves as his team's ace. But another very young kid, 16 years old, um, so watch out for him to make a difference, not only this year in MLW, but for years to come. We love this pick at number seven. Yo, Jackson, what's up, man? It's Kyle. What's up, Kyle? Dude, how you doing, man? I'm doing really good. What about you? I'm doing pretty well, man. So we just had this draft, and I'm very happy to say with the seventh pick, the Wildcats got you. So I'm very happy to have you on board, man. That is so awesome. Dude, we're all pumped, man. Like, it should be a, it should be a phenomenal summer for sure. Yeah, dude, I'm so excited.
the last selection in the MLW draft, the Mr. Relevant pick, the Costa Cobras will be selecting Gus, locker room guy, Livonia. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I can spot a fan favorite when I see one. Gus does not say much, and it's uncertain just how much he'll see the field in 2021. But Drew Davis has spoken so highly of this kid's character and how simply his presence can boost the team's morale, which sadly is one of the team's biggest needs this offseason. But hey, I'm calling it right now. This kid's going to have a big home run one day. He's got sneaky power. Drew, what's up, is that you, Gus? That's me, baby. Hey, I know, I know uh, we've been in talks back and forth, but I just want to let you know that you're officially a Coastal Cobra. No, you're lying. Nah, I'm tell the truth, baby. Dude, I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm just, I'm too good. Bro. I, I understand why you got me, bro. <laughs> We're gonna run it this year, bro. We're running it. Bro. <laughs> We're running it for sure. Let's go ship season, That's baby. Great, ship, bro. ship season. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for the 2021 MLW Draft. Congratulations once again to all eight players that got selected. We have opening day right around the corner. Cobras versus Gators. It's the most highly anticipated opening day matchup we've ever had. It's the most highly anticipated season we've ever had, honestly, in my mind, too. All eight teams have a lot of talent and can win the World Series this year. So subscribe in that corner. See the last video from us in that corner. As always, the merch, the uh, attorney signups will be linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.